During the Nintendo livestream event that happened about 6 months ago, we got to see games like Splatoon 2 and ARMS. But there was one game that was announced that got me even more excited! Suda51 teased the new No More Heroes game during the event with a picture, and I literally jumped out of my seat. Fast forward to the Nindies presentation, and we actually got to see a stellar trailer for the game, and its official name, No More Heroes, Travis Strikes Again. So if just a picture of a No More Heroes game made me jump out of my seat, imagine how I reacted to this trailer. Oh yeah! It's been 7 years since the release of No More Heroes 2 on the Wii. 7 years! As an avid No More Heroes fan, who has played both No More Heroes 1 and 2, I would like to talk about the things I want to happen in the new No More Heroes game for the Nintendo Switch. Starting things off, there's actually a lot of confusion about the game's actual gameplay. So, in an interview with Suda51, they cleared up that. The gameplay will still have the traditional hack and slash that the game is known for, but there will be more of a focus on the retro style world that Travis is in. There are a total of 6 of these worlds with their own set of rules and mechanics that Travis will have to deal with. So as of now, we know that Travis will be going into a Hotline Miami world and a Shovel Knight world. So to throw in my two cents, I would love to see a Shantae world. In Shantae Half Genie Hero, Shantae is using her transformations to aid her through the levels. Travis Touchdown is no stranger into turning into an animal. He's turned into a tiger before in previous No More Heroes games. I'm quite curious to see how Travis reacts to seeing Shantae. I mean, the guy loves his cute anime girls. Moe. Another world the developers should make is a guacamole world. It just makes sense since Travis loves wrestling and performs these moves in the game. There could even be a gimmick where Travis isn't allowed to use his beam katana and is only forced to use wrestling moves. That's kinda all I have for that world, but I'm sure Suda51 can make a fantastic guacamole world. One of the highlights of the No More Heroes series were some of its over-the-top boss fights and the unique backstory that each of them had. One of the most insane battles was in No More Heroes 2 when you had to fight a giant mech. You were given your own mech and it became an epic mech versus mech battle. Fighting with mechs was extremely fun and a great change of pace from the usual slicing and dicing that you would normally be doing. The newest No More Heroes needs almost all the boss fights to be that insane and unique, whether it's by humorous dialogue or changing the gameplay completely. Now we all know the Nintendo Wii was underpowered compared to the PS3 and Xbox 360. The first No More Heroes allowed players to drive around the city of Santa Destroy on Travis's motorcycle and it was underwhelming to say the least. There was barely anything to interact with while driving. There were a few cars on the road and barely any people to, you know, run over, I mean, to have a conversation with. <laughs> The increased power of the Switch allows Suda51 to give the city of Santa Destroy a GTA makeover. Add more people, more cars, more roads, more everything. The final thing I would like added in No More Heroes Travis Strikes Again are more retro minigames. In No More Heroes 2, you actually earn money by playing these Super Nintendo style games. Why not replace these games and add bite sized versions of indie games for Travis to play? For example, playing through a bite-sized version of, let's say, Shovel Knight will earn you some money that you can then use to buy new clothes and new weapons. Also, adding some clothes and weapons based on each of these featured games would be a welcome addition. Well guys, that's essentially everything I wanted added and changed in the new No More Heroes Travis Strikes Again. Will Suda51 deliver? We'll just have to wait and see. But no matter what, I'll be picking it up. If you enjoyed what you watched, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. This is Ace, and have a stellar day.